Hot Wheels from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Hot Wheels is a brand of 1 to 64, 1 to 43, 1 to 18, and 1 to 50 scale die cast toy cars introduced by American toy maker Mattel in 1968. It was the primary competitor of Matchbox until 1997 when Mattel bought Tyco Toys, then owner of Matchbox. Many automobile manufacturers have licensed Hot Wheels to make scale models of their cars, allowing the use of original design blueprints and detailing. Although Hot Wheels was originally intended for children and young adults, they have become popular with adult collectors, for whom limited edition models are now made available. Section 1. History 1968 The original Hot Wheels were made by Elliot Handler. Hot Wheels were conceived to be more like tricked-out cars as compared to Matchbox cars which were more city or real-life cars. There were 16 castings released on May 18, 1968, 11 of them designed by Harry Bentley Bradley. The first one produced was a dark blue custom Camaro. Bradley was from the car industry and had designed the body for the full-size Dodge Diora concept car and the custom fleet side, based on his own customised 1968 Chevrolet C10 fleet side. In 1968, the first production line of Hot Wheels cars is known as the original Sweet 16, which is the first of the Red Line series, meaning the tyres have a red pinstripe on their sides. Racing track set In addition to the cars themselves, Mattel produced a racing track set sold separately. This would be updated throughout the years. The original track consisted of a series of brightly coloured orange road sections, pieced together to form an oblong circular racetrack, with one or sometimes two superchargers, faux service stations through which cars passed on the tracks, featuring battery-powered spinning wheels which would propel the cars along the tracks. 1969 As it turned out, the Hot Wheels brand was a staggering success. The series rewrote the book for small die-cast car models from 1968 onwards, forcing the competition at Matchbox and elsewhere to completely rethink their concepts and to scramble to try to recover lost ground. Harry Bentley Bradley did not think that would be the case and had quit Mattel to go back into the car industry. When the company asked him back, he recommended a good friend, Ira Guilford. Guilford, who had just left Chrysler, quickly accepted the job of designing the next Hot Wheels models. Some of Hot Wheels' greatest cars, such as the Twin Mill and the Splitting Image, came from Ira Guilford's drawing board. The success of the 1968 line was solidified and consolidated with the 1969 releases, with which Hot Wheels effectively established itself as the hottest brand of small toy car models in the USA. The Splitting Image, Torero, Turbofire and Twin Mill were part of the Show and Go series and are the very first original in-house designs by Hot Wheels. The initial prototypes of the Beach Bomb were faithful to a real VW bus's shape and had two surfboards sticking out the back window. During the fledgling Hot Wheels era, Mattel wanted to make sure that each of the cars could be used with any of the play sets and stunt track sets. Unfortunately, testing showed that this early version, now known as Rear Loader Beach Bomb or RLBB, was too narrow to roll effectively on the Hot Wheels track or be powered by the supercharger and was too top heavy to negotiate high speed corners. Hot Wheels designers Howard Rees and Larry Wood modified the casting, extending the side fenders to accommodate the track width, as well as providing a new place on the vehicle to store each of the plastic surfboards. The roof was also cut away and replaced by a full-length sunroof to lower the centre of gravity. Nicknamed Side Loader by collectors, this was the production version of the Beach Bomb. The rear loader Beach Bomb is widely considered the holy grail of any Hot Wheels collection. An unknown number were made as test subjects and given to employees. A regular production beach bomb may be worth up to $600, depending on condition. Market prices on RLBBs, however, have easily reached the five-figure plateau, ranging from $70,000 to $120,000. The Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles had a pink RLBB in its Hot Wheels exhibit. It was displayed on a single rotating platform, much like the kind used to showcase precious gems. The Hot Wheels Collectors Club released a new updated version of the rear loading beach bomb in 2002 as a limited edition. 1970s 1970 was a first rate year for Hot Wheels, so Mattel came up with a new slogan for the cars Go with the Winner. 43 new cars appeared this year. This was also the year that Sizzlers and Heavyweights appeared. Howard Reese, who worked with Ira Guilford, was tired of designing cars. He wanted to work on the major Matt Mason action figure toy lineup. Reese had a good friend by the name of Larry Wood. 
They had worked together at Ford designing cars. When Wood found out about Hot Wheels at a party Reese was holding, Reese offered Wood the job of designing Hot Wheels. Wood agreed, and by the end of the week, Wood was working at Mattel. His first design would be the Tri Baby. After 36 years, Wood still works for Hot Wheels. Another designer, Paul Tam, joined Wood in Guildford. Tam's first design for Hot Wheels was the Whip Creamer. Tam continued to work for Mattel until 1973. Among the many futuristic designs Tam thought up for the Hot Wheels, some of the collector's favourites include Evil Weevil, a Volkswagen with two engines, Open Fire, an AMC Gremlin with six wheels, Six Shooter, another six-wheeled car, and the rare Double Header, co-designed with Larry Wood. 1970 introduced the Snake and the Mongoose. This was notably Jag Racing's first major non-automotive corporate sponsor and the beginning of the NHRA's booming popularity with high-dollar teams and championships. 1970 also introduced the first Silver Series, which were three cars, the Boss Hoss, the Heavy Chevy, and the King Cuda. These three cars were obtained through a mail-in offer that included a membership to the Hot Wheels Club. These three silver cars had supercharged engines without hoods and open header exhaust. Supposedly, these three silver cars were faster than the rest because they were heavier than the other gravity models. However, 1972 and 1973 were slow years. Only seven new models were made in 1972. Of the 24 models appearing for 1973, only three were new models. Also, the cars changed from Mattel's in-house Spectra flame colours to mostly drab, solid enamel colours, which mainline Hot Wheels cars still use today. Due to low sales and the fact that the majority of the casings were not reused in later years, the 1972-73 to models are known to be very collectible. In 1974, Hot Wheels introduced its Flying Colours line and added flashy decals and tampo-printed paint designers which helped revitalise sales. As with the low-friction wheels in 1968, this innovation was revolutionary in the industry and, although far less effective in terms of sales impact than in 1968, was copied by the competition, who did not want to be outmaneuvered again by Mattel product strategists. In 1977, the red line wheel was phased out, with the red lines being erased from the wheels. This cut costs, but also reflected that the red lines popularised during the era of muscle cars and polyglass tyres were no longer current. During this period, there was a trend away from wild hot rods and fictitious cars and a move to more realistic cars and trucks. 1977-1988, to the Black Walls era. In 1981, Hot Wands wheels were introduced, which had gold-painted hubs, thinner axles for speed, and additional suspension that most production Hot Wheels lacked. Ultra Hot Wheels, which looked like the wheels found on a Renault Fuego or a Mazda 626, were introduced in 1984 and had other speed improvements. Hot Wheels started offering models based on 1980s sports and economy cars, like the Pontiac Fiero or Dodge Omni 024. In 1983, a new style of wheel called Real Riders were introduced, which had real rubber tyres. Despite the fact that they were very popular, the Real Riders line was short-lived because of high production costs. In the late 1980s, the blue car blister pack was introduced, which would become the basis of Hot Wheels cars still used today. Two other innovations were introduced briefly in Hot Wheels cars in the 1980s, thermal colour change paint and rotating crash panel vehicles, crack-ups. The former were able to change colour on exposure to hot or cold water, and they were initial release of 20 different cars available as sets of three vehicles. The latter were vehicles with a panel that, on contact, would rotate to reveal a flip side which appeared to be heavily dented. Variations in crash panels included front, rear and side panels, the last of whose mechanism has proven to be the most durable. In the 1980s, Hot Wheels had gotten into a controversy with General Motors Chevrolet Motors division. In 1982, the Chevrolet Corvette had ended the curvaceous Mako Sharp body shape design that had been in production for almost 15 years, and GM announced that the Corvette would be redesigned. In 1983, Chevrolet started to produce the all-new C4 Corvette, but had assembly line problems which pushed the production back six months, causing GM's marketing department to label all 1983s as 1984s once they got production perfected, so that it would seem to the public that the all-new C4 Corvette came out early rather than late. But Hot Wheels saw what the new model of Corvette was going to look like before GM's official unveiling, and they designed a die-cast version of the 1984 Corvette. GM was angered and almost pulled its licensing with Mattel, but this controversy helped Corvette buffs see what the new Corvette was going to look like. 
1984 Corvette production ran for 1.5 model years, covering half of the remaining 1983 model year and ending on time for the 1985 model year. In conjunction with Epic Software, Mattel released a computer game edition of Hot Wheels with various 8-bit platforms in 1985 as part of the Computer Activity Toys series. 1989 to 1994, the collector number era. In 1989, Mattel released collector numbers. Each car had its own number. The cars were all blue for all blister packs released from 1989 to 1994. Numbers included went as high as 274, however these were skip numbered, and numbers such as 48, 61 and 173 were not used. Section 2. Collectors Through the years, Hot Wheels cars have been collected mostly by children, but in the last 15 years there has been an increase in the number of adult collectors. Mattel estimates that 41 million children grew up playing with the toys. The average collector has over 1,550 cars, and children between the ages of 5 and 15 have an average of 41 cars. Most believe the collecting craze started with the treasure hunts in 1995. Mike Strauss has been called the father of Hot Wheels collecting. He has organised two collector's events each year in some form since 1986. The first event was the annual Hot Wheels Collector's Convention, normally held each year in the fall. The convention occurred in various locations around the country until 2001, when the first annual Hot Wheels Collectors Nationals were put together. Since then, the conventions are held each year in Southern California. The Hot Wheels Collectors Nationals rotate among cities outside of California during the spring. Strauss has also published the quarterly Hot Wheels newsletter since 1986, and was one of the first to unite collectors all over the world. He also writes The Tom Art's Guide to Hot Wheels, a book listing history, car descriptions and values, which is used by almost every collector to learn more about the hobby and their collection. Strauss sold his collection in 2011 and retired from the Hot Wheels newsletter. There are hundreds, probably thousands, of web pages dedicated to Hot Wheels collecting. People are collecting everything from only new castings to only red lines and everything in between. For the most part, it is a relatively inexpensive hobby when compared with coin collecting, stamp collecting or Barbie collecting, with mainline cars costing around 97 cents to $1.08 at retail. The price has not changed much in almost 40 years, although in real terms the models have dropped significantly in price. After the cars are no longer available at retail, the cost can vary significantly. A common car may sell for less than retail, while some of the more difficult cars can sell for many hundreds or even thousands of dollars. The highest price paid for a Hot Wheels car was close to $70,000 in 2000 for a pre-production version of a Volkswagen Beach Bomb, the asking price was $72,000. The Beach Bomb is a VW microbus with a pair of surfboards poking out the rear window. This design failed initial testing, proving to be top-heavy and not functional with the Power Booster track accessory. But a widened version with surfboards mounted in side slots was designed and released for the 1969 model year, making the rear loader version a rarity and very sought after piece. As of 2018, there are about 50 rear loaders known to exist. Dates on cars The date on the base of a Hot Wheels car is a design copyright date, not a manufacturing date. Specifically, the date is a copyright date for the design of the base of the car, but there are only a handful of cases where it is not the same as the copyright date for the design of the entire car. The date is usually the year before the car was first introduced, but it is sometimes the same year. For example, a car in the 2001 first edition series called Evil Twin was released in 2001, but the year dated on the bottom of the car is 2000. Since the year 2008, Hot Wheels cars have a code stamped into the base. This is called the base code. This base code can be used to identify exactly when an individual car was produced in the Hot Wheels factory. The code begins with a letter, followed by a two-digit number. The letter for the year 2018 was L. The letter is then followed by two numbers, which represent the week of that particular year the car was manufactured. For example, a car with the date stamp of L42 was produced on the 42nd week of 2018. Mattel reuses many models of Hot Wheels cars, both as part of the regular line and as commemorative replicas. As a result, a car with the date 1968 on the base could have been made at any time between 1968 and the present, like the custom Ford Mustang. One of the easiest ways to tell the difference between a genuine 1968 car and a replica is to check if it has a base code. This only works if the car was produced after 2008. If it was produced before then, you would use more detailed ways to tell them apart. Section 3. 
Hot Wheels Classics. The Hot Wheels Classics line was an immediate hit with enthusiasts everywhere. The new line focused on muscle cars, hot rods and other offbeat vehicles such as a go-kart, a motorhome and even an airplane, many from the company's first 10 years of production. This series is also used to debut several different castings such as the 1965 Chevy Malibu or the 1972 Ford Ranchero. Series 1 from 2005 consisted of 25 models, each with all metal body and chassis, decked out with spectroframe paint in packages similar to those used from 1968 to 1972. Each car had a retail price of about $3 to $4 and each of the 25 cars were released with 7 or 8 different colours. Models included the 1959 Chevy Bel Air, the 1963 Ford T-Bird and the 1965 Pontiac GTO. There were also track sets in similar retro packaging and 1 to 18 scale Hot Wheels classics. The classics version of the Purple Passion was released with real riders' tyres at the San Diego Comic Con. Mattel also produced a classics Olds 442 in Spectra Flame Blue for the 2005 Toy Fair. In late 2005, Series 2 now consisted of 30 models, including the 1967 Camaro Convertible, the 1969 Dodge Charger, and the 1965 Mustang Mach 1. There was also supposed to be a separate Mustang funny car, as listed on the blister pack rear checklist, but this was apparently changed to a Plymouth Barracuda funny car during production. In 2006, a Series 3 line of classics was introduced, again containing 30 models with multiple colours of each vehicle. Models included the 69 Pontiac Firebird, a Myers Manx Dune Buggy and the Richard Petty 70 Plymouth Superbird. In 2007, Series 4 debuted with just 15 models. However, in recognition of the 40th anniversary, there were two packaging versions available. Models came with a collectible metal badge, featuring a portrait of the involved vehicle, or were sold alone as in the previous three series. Models included a VW Carman Gear, a 68 Mercury Cougar, and the Red Baron Hot Rod. In 2009, Series 5 has 30 models. For the first time, there are chase cars in the classic series. These cars feature real rubber tyres. A few models included our Copper Stopper, 1970 Pontiac GTO, and Hammer Sled. Section 4. Special Model Lines Hot Wheels has also released slightly larger, more detailed models, such as the original Grand Tauros from 1970 and the Drop Stars line, a model line of blinged cars. Also in this larger scale are the Hot Import Knights, G-Machines and Customs lines. These lines were introduced in 2004 to 2005. Hot Wheels has produced many replica scale models in the industry standard of 1 to 43, 1 to 24 and 1 to 18 scales. In 2004 it released a 1 to 12 scale replica of the C6 Corvette. Hot Wheels also in the early 1990s introduced a series known as the California Customs, a line of cars that had a California theme. Other lines from the Hot Wheels included RR Rumblers and Chop Cycles, motorcycles introduced in 1971, Hot Birds, Metal Airplanes, Sizzlers, XB Racers, Hot Tuners and Stockers. Over the years, Mattel has also teamed up with other retail organisations to produce special models available through those retailers. The list of retailers includes Avon, Chuck E. Cheese, Dinty Moore, FAO Swartz, Full Grid, General Mills, Getty, HEB, Hills, Hormel, Hughes Family Markets, J.C. Penney, J.C. Whitney, KB Toys, Kmart, Kellogg's, Kool Aid, Kroger, Lexmark, Liberty Promotions. Contracted the series of special models for Jiffy Lube and Penske, Little Debbie Snacks, Malto Meal, McDonald's, Mervins, Otter Pops, Rose's Discount Stores, Shell, Target, Tony's Pizza, Toys R Us, Union Seventy Six, Valvo Line, Van der Kamps, Walmart, and White's Guide to Collecting as well as several Major League Baseball franchises, to name a few. In some cases, Hot Wheels dies have been sold or acquired by other companies once Mattel has finished using them. One example were early dies that made their way to Argentina and were reproduced as Mookies, though not with Spectra Flame paints or the same quality as seen in Mattel's products. Hot Wheels have a series called Hot Wheels Elite and Hot Wheels Mattel. The Elite Hot Wheels are 1 to 18, 1 to 43, and 1 to 50 highly detailed die cast high gauge, the majority of them based on Ferraris. They are more expensive than the Mattel models, which aren't as highly detailed and cheaper, as the Elite versions are licensed by Ferrari, so for Hot Wheels Mattel models, they have to add cheap parts, like plastic, to make them cheaper. The Hot Wheels Elite series have mini series, which can be seen on the website. 
Two of the popular limited 1 to 18 Hot Wheels Elite series are the Ferrari in Music and Cult Classics. The music series features singers and rappers, Ferraris, including Jamiroquai's JK's Black Ferrari Enzo. In 2016, Hot Wheels released a special collection for the 50th anniversary of the Beatles' 1966 song, Yellow Submarine. The collection includes five cars, a VW microbus and a yellow submarine. In 2016, Hot Wheels started a new line of collector's models in a line called Car Culture. Car Culture is Hot Wheels' line of premium 1-64 models with metal bodies and bases, two-piece wheels with rubber tyres and more detailed decorations. This line was kicked off with the release of Japan Historics, a set of five Japanese sports cars. Every year at least four more sets are introduced. All car culture sets are five cars and often have new castings created for the sets. The number five spot on the set is usually reserved for the newest casting in the set. Car culture cars are usually based on real automobiles, however in 2018 Hot Wheels introduced a set called Team Transport, which include fantasy truck castings. These cars retail for up to three times the retail price of a basic car and are produced in slightly fewer numbers. In 2018, for Hot Wheels' 50th anniversary, car culture card sizes were increased, along with the amount of decorations on the cars. A Hot Wheels 50th logo was also placed beside the set's name on the packaging. Car culture is still being produced to the present. Section 5. Treasure Hunt Series Treasure Hunt, sometimes T-Hunt, is a line of Hot Wheels cars introduced by Mattel in 1995. It consisted of 12 cars every year, 15 beginning in 2011, with one or two released per month. The original production run was 10,000 of each car worldwide. That number has since risen due to the increasing demand for and popularity of Hot Wheels as a collector's item. Treasure Hunt vehicles are identifiable by a label on the package. The blister card said Treasure Hunt, or T-Hunt, on a green bar, sometimes with an illustration of a treasure chest. Since 2013, Treasure Hunts do not have the green stripe anymore. Instead, the cars are recognisable with the flame in a circle logo on the vehicle and behind it on the card. The cars were decorated with flashy designs and special rubber wheels before 2007. In 2007, Mattel introduced a two-tiered Treasure Hunt system. A regular treasure hunt will feature normal enamel paint and normal wheels like other Hot Wheels cars. The production of these is rumoured to be greater than previous tea hunts. Super treasure hunts are much harder to find. Like treasure hunts of the past, a super treasure hunt features premium wheels and spectra flame paint, as well as, starting in 2015, a golden coloured circle flame logo printed on the card behind the car. Many Hot Wheels collectors have noticed in recent times that the US basic mixes are more likely to have a super treasure hunt in them compared to international mixes. Before 2013, all 12 treasure hunt cars of a year were released in both regular and super versions. In 2012, super treasure hunts came with special paint and wheels, but with series designation on the card. However, the regular tea hunts retained a special tea hunt series card. Mattel stopped using special cards for all treasure hunts in 2013. Some US releases in 2014 had the phrase, This symbol on the vehicle lets you know it is hard to find and highly collectible. However, in 2016, this was changed to, Congratulations, this symbol means you have just found a collectible treasure hunt car. This would be under a silver flame logo on the card for tea hunts. In 2015, Supers featured a gold logo on the card. Generally, Hot Wheels has targeted both kids and adults with the tea hunt series, focusing more on the adult collecting market with Supers. Section 6. Live Action Film Project On January 30th, 2003, Columbia Pictures announced they had gained exclusive rights to developing a feature film based on the toy line Hot Wheels, with McGee attached to direct. Although unwritten, the premise involved a young man trying to reconcile with his father. It's a kid who steals his dad's race car and ends up going through a sort of back-to-the-future portal into this world, and he has to reconcile his relationship with his father. In 2006, McGee said that he had dropped out as director and chose to produce instead. In 2009, with no recent developments, the film was put into turnaround and the rights were handed over to Warner Brothers. Joel Silver took over, producing with Matt Nix writing the script. The movie will be produced by Columbia Pictures, Flying Glass of Milk Films and Silver Pictures, under licence to Mattel. On June 17, 2011, it was announced that Legendary Pictures is developing a movie based on Hot Wheels due to the success of Fast Five by developing an edgier film. On July 10, 2013, Simon Crane and Juan Carlos Fresnadillo were named as the frontrunners to direct the film, with Art Markham and Matt Holloway writing the film, intended to be more Mission Impossible than Fast and Furious. 
On September 28, 2016, Justin Lin signed on to direct the film, which will be produced through his production company, Perfect Storm Entertainment. On August 1, 2017, Lin revealed that the movie was still in development and that Jeremy Renner is set to play the star. Section 7. Hot Wheels Elite Hot Wheels Elite is a collectible die-cast line of 1-18 to and 1-43 to scale models. Section 8. Sizzlers The Sizzlers were a 1970s Hot Wheels spin-off with a built-in motor and tiny rechargeable battery. The XV races of the 1990s were similar. They were introduced in 1970 and became immediately popular. Sizzlers run on the regular orange Hot Wheels track, and Mattel created special race sets with U-turns, multi-level spirals, and loops to take advantage of the car's electric motor. Two-lane race sets such as the California 8 race set were developed that allowed Sizzlers to race side-by-side until Mattel created the Black Fat Track, which is three lanes wide with steep banked curves and designed to allow Sizzlers to run free. In action, Sizzlers display a unique competitive passing action when running on the Fat Track, as if each car were piloted by an independent driver trying to jockey ahead of the rest. The Fat Track sets include the Big O, California 500 and Super Circuit race sets, and accessories such as the Scramble Start, a four-car starting gate, lap computer, four-car lap counter, and race timer stopwatch. Six cars were made in 1970, 12 cars were made in 1971, and four cars were made in 1972. The Fat Daddy Sizzlers, Oversized bodies with huge tyres were introduced in 1973. Mattel put the Sizzlers on a hiatus after that year, and in 1976 they created Sizzlers 2. The next year, the night riding Sizzlers, which had headlights you could turn on or off, were created. Mattel permanently stopped Sizzlers production in 1978. They were replaced by another spin off named Scorchers. The Scorchers were pullback cars. Sizzlers were and are charged with four or two D battery chargers called the Juice Machine and Goose Pump, respectively. Later, the Power Pit was introduced, which was an electric charger that plugged into any household AC outlet and resembled a racetrack garage or pit stop. A 90 second charge of the tiny internal NICAD battery gives up to five minutes of frenetic runtime. It has been said that the 90 second charge time was the longest minute and a half in a kid's life as they waited impatiently for the car to charge sufficiently to get back into the race. The Sizzler Electric Technology spun off into the Hotline trains, which ran on tracks similar to regular Hot Wheels, and the Earthshakers construction vehicles. Both lines of vehicles were charged using the Sizzler Juice Machine or Power Pit. In the 1990s, toy company Playing Mantis re-released Sizzlers in NASCAR stock car models and reproduced the fat track as the Stocker 400 and Mac 500 track sets. The juice machine was renamed the Mega Charger and incorporated a more efficient trickle charge rather than the dump charge of the original machines. Interest in the Sizzlers line began to increase once again. They were taken off the market after Mattel filed a lawsuit against playing Mantis. However, Sizzlers returned again in 2006 when Mattel struck an exclusive deal with Target stores to re-release Sizzlers cars, the Big O Fat Track, Juice Machine and Car Carrying Cakes, all in the original packaging from the 1970s. As of January 2009, the Sizzlers line has been discontinued by Target. In 2011, Sizzlers have been re-released as Cars 2 characters and were sold at Target stores. This line was called Charge Ups and released under the Mattel name, but not as part of the Hot Wheels line. Section 9. Promotion and Sponsorships Hot Wheels appeared in the 2016 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Motorsports Starting in 1970, professional drag racers Don Prudhomme, driver of the Snake, Tom McEwen, driver of the Mongoose, were sponsored by Hot Wheels, and later on Hot Wheels created the Snake and Mongoose drag set in 1970. Later, somewhere in 1972, the second versions of both funny cars were released, when McEwen had the Mongoose 2 and Prudhomme had the Snake 2. The drag set remained the same. Then Hot Wheels made rail dragster versions of them, based on the actual funny cars, and was featured in the Wild Wheelie set. Later in Hot Wheels' lifespan, the normal drag set with Snake and Mongoose was still being produced. The latest set with the Snake and Mongoose is in the Drag Strip Demons lineup. In 1992, Hot Wheels sponsored the Trans Am car of Jack Baldwin as he went on to win that year's championship. Hot Wheels signed a sponsorship deal in 1997 with NASCAR driver Carl Petty and the number 44 PE2 motorsports car, and thus began making replicas of NASCAR race cars. Three years later, Hot Wheels joined the Craftsman Truck Series team of Carlos Contreras and the number 12 truck. In 2004, Hot Wheels sponsored the number 99 car of Jeff Burton for one race at Darlington Raceway. Six years later, 
The company returned to NASCAR to sponsor the number 7 JR Motorsports car, Danica Patrick, at the Michigan International Speedway. In 1999, Hot Wheels partnered with five Formula One teams to manufacture scale model Formula One cars. In 2016, Hot Wheels opened the Race to Win exhibit at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis to promote the 100th Indianapolis 500. At the 2002 Le Mans 24 Hours, Hot Wheels logos appeared on the side pods of the pair of MG Lola EX257 prototypes entered by MG Sport and Racing. Hot Wheels is a partner and sponsor of Australian stunt rider Matt Minghay's Stunts Incorporated team. With Minghay, the company sponsors the number two truck in Speed Energy Formula Off-Road. After Minghay suffered facial injuries at the Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix in 2016, Robbie Gordon drove the number two Hot Wheels truck in the Townsville Street Circuit. Video games. Various video games based on Hot Wheels have been released for numerous consoles. Hot Wheels 1984, released for the Commodore 64. Hot Wheels Custom Car Designer, 1997, released for Microsoft Windows. Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver, 1998, released for Microsoft Windows and later for the Game Boy Color. Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, 1999, released for the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation. Hot Wheels Crash, 1999, released for Microsoft Windows. Hot Wheels Stock Car Racing, 2000, released for the personal computer. Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver 2 Getting Dirty 2000 released for the personal computer. Hot Wheels Micro Racers 2000 released for Microsoft Windows. Planet Hot Wheels 2001 a massively multiplayer online game for Microsoft Windows and Mac OS. Hot Wheels Mechanics 2001 released for Microsoft Windows. Hot Wheels Extreme Racing 2001 released for the PlayStation. Hot Wheels Jets 2001 released for Microsoft Windows. Hot Wheels Burning Rubber, 2001, released for the Game Boy Advance. Hot Wheels Williams F1 Team Driver, 2001, released for Microsoft Windows. Hot Wheels Bash Arena, 2002, released for the personal computer. Hot Wheels Velocity X, 2002, released for the Game Boy Advance, Microsoft Windows, Nintendo GameCube, and PlayStation 2. Hot Wheels World Race, 2003, released for the Game Boy Advance, Microsoft Windows, Nintendo GameCube, and PlayStation 2. Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge 2004, released for the Game Boy Advance, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Hot Wheels All Out 2006, a combination of Hot Wheels World Race and Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge, released for the Game Boy Advance. Hot Wheels Ultimate Racing 2007, released for PlayStation Portable. Hot Wheels Beat That 2007, released for Microsoft Windows, Nintendo DS, PlayStation 2, Wii and Xbox 360. Hot Wheels Battle Force 5 2009, released for Nintendo DS and Wii. Hot Wheels Track Attack 2010, released for the Nintendo DS and Wii. Hot Wheels World's Best Driver 2013, released for iOS, Nintendo 3DS, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, Wii U and Xbox 360. Hot Wheels Showdown 2014, released for mobile devices, Android and iOS. Hot Wheels Race Off 2017, released for mobile devices, Android and iOS. Rocket League 2015, two cars along with other Hot Wheels branded cosmetic items released in 2017 as DLC. Forza Horizon 3, Hot Wheels 2017, released as an expansion pack for Forza Horizon 3 2016 on Microsoft Windows 10 and Xbox One in partnership with Microsoft Studios. Need for Speed No Limits 2017, released as downloadable content for Need for Speed No Limits 2015 on Google Play for Android and on the App Store for iOS in partnership with John Mai and Mattel specifically through an update patch that was called Hot Wheels in version 2.0.6 of the game that was released on March 9th, 2017. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon forward slash forward slash creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash by hyphen sa forward slash 3.0.